hello friend welcome back in this tutorial i will show you how you can identify the elements if they are inside iframe shadow dom or if they are svg elements because uh, many a times it becomes very tedious task to figure figure out in the dom if the element is inside iframe or shadow dom or if it is an svg element because region like that element could be having a very long or very big uh, dom structure and then it may be having the iframe or shadow dom host element so scrolling in the dom in the up and down it becomes very challenging and generally like most of the time what happens like whenever we have to like let's say this element we have to click what we generally do we right click click on inspect and then just we start immediately getting or writing the xpath and then use it in our script and that's where after sometimes like uh, once you your script is ready script you run the script script start failing and then you start looking out oh this element could be inside iframe or shadow dom right so how you can figure out these elements like for an example let's say some of the elements which are having some of the special property like let's say this element if we right click on this click on inspect and here you see that this is the element so this element generally what we do like we immediately start writing here or if you're using selectors so that's where you start writing so as soon as you scroll little down you will see that this is inside shadow root okay but is it inside only one shadow root then you have to keep on scrolling and then you have to go till top to figure out whether it is one or two or how many like for an example if we inspect this element so it is inside shadow root we are very happy that we figure it out that is inside shadow root and then if you scroll little up then you will find one more if you keep on scrolling that's where you figure out how many are there similarly like if an element is inside iframe like this if we inspect this element so you see generally like we found this element okay now here if you start scrolling here you will find out that this is inside iframe now if you keep keep on scrolling okay this is only one iframe now if we inspect this element okay so this is as usual we will write normal xpath but then if you scroll you will find okay there is one iframe but is it only one iframe let us keep scrolling and you will find there is one more iframe now there could be 100 or 10 or 5 or there could be no more after that so it is no more now let us inspect one more so here you see that this element is inside uh one iframe okay good then keep on scrolling this is another second iframe then keep on scrolling then this is another third iframe so like that likewise there could be many many iframe many many shadow dom and if any element is inside shadow dom or something that's again a challenge so how you can figure out that these elements are inside iframe or shadow dom or what so for that like a very simple trick you need not to scroll up and down in the shadow uh, in the dom uh one way is this that best way you just open selectors hub here in dev tools and it will immediately let you know that this element is inside shadow dom or iframe or anything and how many shadow doms are there that count also it will tell you here and it will give you the host selectors as well so you what you have to do you just inspect the element and rest selectors hub will automatically tell you that it is inside shadow dom or inside iframe or whatever like this is telling you this element is inside single shadow dom okay and then this is the host x bar for that host selector for that element then if you inspect element if which is inside two nested shadow dom it is letting you know that this is inside two if any element which is inside closed shadow dom or something it will also tell you that this element is inside closed shadow dom which is inaccessible like you see that this is closed so it will give you the accurate information and you will not have to waste time in the dom like scrolling up and down likewise if any element is inside iframe so you just open selectors up here and you see that it is letting you know that this element is inside iframe and how many iframe there are three nested iframe and xpath for all the iframe also it is giving and xpath for that particular element it is giving so you can just immediately like just switch one by one and then you can perform action inspect any other element which is inside two nested iframe it is letting you know an x path for both the iframes if it is inside one you can also inspect that and it is giving you the iframe x path and the x path and all possible selector for that particular element 
so this becomes very easy and simple to inspect such kind of element it will automatically let you know that these elements are inside what special properties basically these elements have like if any element now let me show you about the svg element so just inspect any element if that will be svg selector sub will also tell you that this element is inside uh, like this element is svg element so it is not going to be any inside or something it will directly be the svg element it could be svg svg child element so both are being considered as svg and just that like you will have to write a special types of uh, x path because standard x path format they doesn't support they have a, some different kind of this kind of format so that you can use so it will basically stop you being uh, doing some mistakes wasting time like selectors will help you to uh, like easily identify these elements and learn about the properties of them so you will not waste time and immediately get those information right also if there are like really complex like more complex scenario that also you will get to know from uh, with the help of uh, selector sub like let me show you few more examples where element is inside shadow dom and iframe and iframe and shadow dom so that also will be there like let's say open this so here you inspect this and now it will tell you that this element is inside shadow dom so you see that this element is inside shadow dom and then that shadow dom is inside iframe so you see that this shadow dom here if in the dome if you scroll so this is inside iframe so you get to know the hierarchy of uh, this com complex dom because normally like you will face a lot of challenge that how to figure out whether element is inside shadow dom and then if that shadow dom is inside iframe then what to do and how to uh, identify so this will help you similarly like uh, there are a, in fact a better way as well to identify these uh, you can in fact open shadow, uh, selector sub in the side panel and you just select this inspector of selector sub so you even need not to like uh, inspect the element like this right click click on inspect and then select the inspector sorry like all this thing is not required opening selectors up here then selecting this inspector then inspecting or then like clicking on this element in fact this also is not required this much effort like this uh, right click click on inspect then opening elements tab then opening selector sub tag then clicking on this inspector five six steps not required how you can get it done in single step just click on the selector sub logo and here you have this inspector select this and you see that as soon as you hover on the element it you will get to know what property it is having like this element is inside shadow dom you got to know this this is a svg element this is again inside shadow dom so you see that as soon as we are hovering on the elements we are getting to know like you see that can't inspect inside close shadow dom so we are immediately getting to know that these elements what kind of properties they hold like if they will be having any special property it will write their highlight through the tooltip so like just by moving your mouse after selecting this inspector from selector sub you just start moving your mouse and you will be learning about all the elements on the web page so like if you have any page where you want to figure out what kind of elements if they are inside iframe shadow dom or anything you want to learn you just start with this and you will be knowing each and every property of the element so it becomes easy for you to uh, automate the application and learn about those elements and uh, how you can get selector sub selector sub is a free xpath and selectors plugin you can just directly install it from here on the selector sub website uh, just click on that and then you have uh, it is available for all the browsers chrome firefox edge opera so whichever you want you can just go to that browser store and install it from here it's very simple and straightforward you can follow these tutorials and steps here so that way you can get it on your uh, browser so this is another way I was uh, telling you guys that you can uh, just open selectors up by clicking on the logo and then you start inspecting. Also, you see that if any element will be inside cross origin iframe, that also you can identify through the side panel of selectors up, just inspect and you see that it is letting you know that this element is inside like red color tooltip you will see here on the top left corner, this element inside cross origin iframe and then you can just simply inspect. It will also give you the X path of cross origin iframe and the message you can always read here what it is. This element inside cross origin iframe switch to inside iframe to access this through iframe X path and X path for that particular element.
so this way you can uh, inspect any element and learn about that uh, like if that will be having any special property you will get to know about that element so i hope you will uh, find this tutorial helpful if you find this tutorial helpful please share it with your friends and uh, do give a thumbs up also let us know if you find any complex scenarios and we will help you to create the tutorial and also provide the solution in selectors hub so that automatically it get identified with the help of selectors hub any kind of element you just have to inspect like this move your cursor around and you will get to know each and every property about that element like uh, i guess this simple iframe also i can show you here so you just inspect this and it will highlight that this element is inside iframe so you will not basically wasting your time so this is one of the best way to identify if the element is inside iframe shadow dom or if it is having any special property with the help of selector sub i hope you enjoyed this video with that thank you thank you so much please like this video and subscribe to the channel also check out these awesome informative videos and keep watching more videos on selector sub channel thank you